everyone. This is Carolyn from Known as Nutty Crafts. So I would thought, now I'm not going to be able to see your comments. I mean, they're popping up, but I'm too far away because I literally have my phone sitting in my car, um, jack, uh, trailer hitch, so that I could do this with you. So I'm getting ready for a craft show, and I know my name is probably coming backwards to you, but that's okay. Um, next weekend on the 18th, and it's of the outdoor show and I mostly do indoor shows so what I thought I'd show you guys is what I'm gonna get ready for my show now I've bought some supplies I've had this tent for a couple of years, about four years and I've only used it once because most of the shows I've done indoors but I wanted to talk about the tent and panels and stuff like that so with that being said let's get moving so this tent here is a 10 by 10 okay and I got it from Home Depot it was now when I bought it four years ago I think it was about $159 um, it comes with the tent it has an air vent at the top which is good some of the tents don't um, it also comes with one panel which would be like a back panel side panel whatever you want to use it for it comes with the stakes it also comes attached with the ropes already so if you have to use stakes now I also have sandbags, which I just realized I didn't bring out, did I? Hold please. Okay, I got it, sorry, I almost forgot. And I'll show you about the sandbags. Some people will use cinder blocks or weights that you lift up with and all, but I don't want to deal with that. Now this does come in a carrying case. It does have a pocket on the side, so if you want to put your steaks or whatever in there, it is on wheels. I took it out because I was taking it out of the box. So this is supposed to be easy enough for one person to do this. Now mind you, I am on a hill. So bear with, let me move as much stuff out of the way as I can. All right, let's put the glasses down. So, it's just supposed to be easy enough. I gotta make sure I have it the right way. Okay, I do. <laughs> We're gonna see. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm trying to stay in frame with you guys, too. So right now, it's just pulling it apart. And again, this is a 10 by 10 tent. It'd probably be easier if you had more, somebody helping you. Now in the middle, it's kind of a push-up thing. So that's why I'm trying to get these out as much as I can before I push it up. Oops, oopsie. And the tent canopy automatically came on with it so I didn't have to put this on now I don't have it what it is it's hooked right here there are little velcro tabs right here that you can hook the canopy with which I'll probably do this time once I get it up let me just pull this around like that just for right now now I'm going to disappear to go underneath. I'm going underneath and I'm going to come up in the middle. You will not see me. There is a white, a red button that I push. And I got to lock it in. So hold on. There we go. Oh, it's a little teepee. Now the thing is to extend the legs up so you're not here in a dollhouse. So, but before I do that, remember I told you about those little Velcro pieces? So I'm gonna attach that because once this tent goes up, I'm not gonna be able to reach. So I'll just go around wherever they are and I'll attach it to the rail. 
top rail. Because I have no nails to pull this rail pull apart. There we go. I think there's one on each side, so maybe two. I think. And like I said, I only used this literally about last month. I had a garage sale when my daughter did. So we brought the ten others to, to the garage sale so we weren't sitting outside. And get this side up. Last two. And I don't take make these really tight because in case the wind comes. All right, so now the next step is to take each leg. And there you have those little buttons on it, so you got to jack it up little by little on it. Like I said, if you have two people, you can be doing it together, and it would make it 100% easier. Oop, one more leg. And voila! Good God! That was an exercise in itself. How many steps did I get in just doing that? So now your tent is up. Ooh. Can you tell I'm out of breath? <laughs> I really am. I just realized I don't know if my volume's all the way up. Okay, good. So, this is the canopy back that it came with. So I have yet to use it. I did open it up in the packaging today. It is all Velcro. Since this is 10 by 10, it really doesn't matter which side I put it on. One side of this is silver, one side of it is white. I will put the silver side facing out on this because that will help reflect the sun. So I'm not going to do all of these just for time's sake, but enough that you could see how it would kind of look. And what I didn't show you, so hopefully you can see, there are little hooks on here. These hooks, in each of the corner, they have a little ring, and you can hook it on there to also help it stay, besides just using the Velcro. And you can see it's a windy day here. Back. So that would be, it attaches on the side, y'all. See if I can get it somewhat attached for you so you can see. Okay, so I didn't, like I said, I didn't attach all these up here. There we go. That's good enough for you to see. Yay! Alright, so now I have my back panel. So when you go to a show, if you have a tent, and let's say you have people on either side of you, suppose they don't have any of the walls, um, a little windy. Um, it's nice to have a wall so your product is seen better rather than just leaving it open. Now, if you don't have these um, panels, I did go in. 
I ordered three more panels. Now in this set, it has the one with the zipper and the two side panels, and it's 10 by 10. I believe I got this off of Amazon. So, but you know, look. Oh wait, no, I think it was Home Depot too. Was it Home Depot? I think it was Home Depot, but it's called the Shelter Lock, Lock It Company. But go look, do your homework on it, and decide what one you feel looks best. I chose a white canopy. Um, you, could, there, you can get different colors and stuff, but I chose white um, because I feel that would make, hopefully, my wreaths and everything stand out more. Now, like I said up here, there's a vent. So let me bring you over so you can see. So if you see up here, you could see the vent up there. So that way you don't have all the air, the hot air staying down on top of you. Okay. Hi, everybody. I see. I see y'all watching. Hey, hey. Oh, thank you, Helen, for the stars. Yay. Yay. I love the stars. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Whew. I'm sitting over there on top of my bumper. So this has a canopy. Now there's two drawbacks. It's great for the vent. The rain comes in, it shadows over the edge a little bit, but if the wind is uh, the rain's coming in on a directional sideways or something, that could be your drawback. But for me, this works perfect. Whew, this is out of breath. So let me put you back here and show you this, the sandbags. See if I can get you without making you fall. I should have brought my thing out, but here we go. Now, I haven't used these either. They're still wrapped up. So I'll show you a close-up view. And again, I got these from Home Depot when I ordered um, my tent. And what they do, they Velcro on the legs. So I brought a knife out here so we can open this up. And all you do is have to fill them up with sand. So it has two pockets that you fill up with sand and you wrap it around your pole. Where's my Velcro? Here it is. And I'll show you. I'm gonna have, let me put it, mm, what am I gonna do? I can't move my tent and I can't angle you. I'll wrap one around and then I'll show you. Now it's not gonna have sand in it, so keep that in mind. I'll bring you over, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I don't want the sun to be in your eyes. So see, all I did, it, it Velcros around. When it has sand in it, it'll look a lot fuller. And it zips up. And that's all you need to do. Now, if you do want to do it where you have to do stakes, if you're in the ground, this does have the holes in here. And like I said, the rope is, they give you the rope. So I leave the rope on, I'm not gonna take it off. And then you can stake it into the ground if you need be. So, isn't that kind of cool? Look at my hair out here, sweating to death. So that's what I have for my tent for going to the craft show. Ooh. Now the other thing would be grid walls, which I have. And I will do another video with that to give you an idea of some of the grid walls and what you can use with that. But I gotta put this down because it's gonna blow away going down the tent. Now, you can hang things from here. It's not like 100%, 100%, you know, like holding a million things on it, but you can do S hooks from it um, or a hanger with your, whatever it is that you want hanging from it. Um, what I wanna test before I do it with you is maybe hanging a grid wall vertically, long wise from it so that it looks like a fence going around and that might work um, too, instead of just hanging the wreaths and then having them twisting and blowing in the wind. Some people have done um, just a chain hanging down and they'll hook the wreaths within the chain. Um, you can do, you know, the shelves, like for a closet, they're white like looking shelves. You can do that and have them hanging down um, or hanging across or making them into a triangle. The same, you could do the same thing with the grid walls. So, oh yeah, no problem. And, and this is just one way out of a million that you can kind of 
use your tent to benefit you in some way. Now, if you're on a corner booth, that's even better because then you have more space to spread out. But like I said, I got, I have the panel for the back and I got the two sides and the one in the front with the zipper in case of weather. But if I'm, if I only have it where people can come in one way because there's people on either side and back of me, I may not want their stuff. So that's why it's nice to, if you can't afford this, get a big sheet, go get a tarp and they get those big clamp clips. You can clip it up there with. Um, if you want to do that. So there are several ways you can do it, but this is just one way. So I'm going to come back on in me in a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you about the grid walls and we're going to see if it will work, if I can tie them up the other way, but I have to get them all out of the boxes. So I will be back in just a few minutes and I hope these little tips and tricks help you for a craft show. Oh, you can also, you know, hang lights from these too, you know, like get the light you use on a tree and it will make it look pretty too. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for coming to Nona's Night.